Okay, so we got the other three sensors put in. The driver's rear already picked up. I raised the pressure from 55 to 65. Okay, so the driver's rear, the lower left, is reading 66. I just put 10 more pounds in it, so I had 55 in it. So that picked up right away. I just got on the highway. We're gonna see how long it takes to for these others to uh, auto learn. Okay, now we're gonna go home and check and see if they're accurate. Okay, so 71, 70, 69, and 68. We're gonna start at the left front and work our way around and just see what the difference is. Just with my tire gauge that, you know, I trust trusted for years, let's just see. And that's right at 70. And this was 71. This was at 70, and this is showing 68. So that's about two points different. So one point different, two point difference. This is about one point difference. And that's right on 68 right there. So that's no difference. So 1.2.1 1 point, one points and no difference. And honestly, you know, in all the years I've owned this truck, I can't remember in the past checking the pressure here on the dash and comparing it to my tire gauge to see if it was one point off or two points off. I, it, it didn't matter. Um, I'd set the tires for 65 or you know 80 whatever if I was towing something heavy um, 55 in the rear if I'm just running light load 45 in the rear if I'm running super you know running nothing in the back and uh, yeah it's just it didn't matter how close it was um, I would like to say that these are perfectly accurate with my tire gauge uh, are these more accurate than my tire gauge I don't know maybe um, but you're not supposed to set your tire pressure based on this pressure anyway and all the manuals say that even these uh, directions say that so um, yeah you're still supposed to use the tire gauge um, but it is nice to know that it's within a point or two that's good okay I've been wanting to get a small scale this gave me a good reason to get it um, I don't really care if it's accurate I just want to know what the difference is in these sensors so here's the factory one um, has the valve core there valve stem of course these are rubber they feel a little heavier than but I don't know. Let's see what see what it is. Thirty one grams. Let's just switch to ounces. One point one ounce. Let's just see if the others are about the same. I've got three of them sitting here. One point one. One point one. Okay. Um, Here's the sensor, and 0.9 ounce. Let's just weigh one of these others. This is the KXSO33. Point 0.9 ounce. Now, weight three ounces. So I have no idea um, if this scales two ounces off or these or that's wrong in the book or what. But the bottom line is um, 0.9 to 1.1 ounce is awesome. So again, 0 0.9 ounce to 1.1 ounce is only 0.2 ounces difference, which is less than a quarter ounce, which is livable. Okay, so now the question in my mind is, 
if your valve stems look like they were in good condition, which these are not, you can see how they're dark and dry rot, or they're light colored, and they're not like dark rubber like it was on the inside. This is all dry rotted from sun and from, you know, dry air and all that. Could you, if your valve stems were good, could you pull this sensor off and put this one on? And I guess that's the question. Let's find out. So we got a T10 here. And kind of tight. These are both T10 screws. So we'll see if they'll cross over here. Okay, there's the screw. Now when this comes apart, that has a little bit of a key in it. It's kind of square flat on two sides and round on two other sides, just like this base is here. Okay. And then when you put your air in the tire through here, it comes out the holes on the side right there. Okay. So when you put the TPMS sensor on, um, the air can still come in and out. Uh, the, the sensor is actually, I think that's the pressure sensor right through there. And so, I mean, spraying water or soap or whatever to seat your bead. I don't know if that can get inside there or not. Um, I don't know if that's an issue or not, but let's just take this one apart now and we'll keep those parts there. Now, if I did this, I think, you know, oh, look, it even has a little bit of Loctite on it. I think if I were putting this new sensor onto the old valve stem, that I would put some fresh Loctite on just to make sure. Okay, now you can see on this one, air comes in here and comes out these holes on the sides here. There's no holes in the in the base there, but it does slide off, it looks similar. So let's just see here if this will slide on. And it does, and it feels like a good fit. Now the next question is, are the screws about the same length and will they, will one be too long and bottom out? And they look like they're about the same length, this one with the washer. And, uh, it's kind of a lock washer, you know, it's got a few little threads on the washer there or a little knurling on the washer there, fluting, whatever you call it. Let's just see if this one screws into the old one. Maybe you couldn't use the new. Seems to be going in. And I'm just going to kind of tweak it with my hand and not wail on it. But that's a nice solid fit. There's no play. There's no clunking. Okay. Now, uh, let's just compare one more thing here. Let's take this apart. And these are different. Well... The rubber's off this one, actually, isn't it? So the rubber would actually sit there. So these aren't vastly different lengths, and they're about the same shape. Right? So that should, that theoretically could work. Let's weigh them and see how much they weigh. Okay. Okay, I guess, so the worry, I guess my concern would be, does this one weigh a lot less than this? So that when you add it to this heavier valve stem, that uh, it might be a bigger weight difference. Let's just see, let's just weigh the valve stems and see. 0.6 ounce and 0.4 ounce. Okay, so that's two tenths difference. I bet that's where the weight difference is. Let's see what the sensor shows. 0.5 ounce and that adds up to 1.1, right? Like we proved in the video, 0.45, 1.1. Okay, let's take it off again. 0.5 ounce, there it is. And then this sensor is 0.4 ounces. So about a tenth of an ounce difference. So if we add this sensor and that valve stem, it's still one ounce, okay? So this combination is right in the middle of that. Come back here. And that, 
Okay, so that would work. This combination is actually a little bit closer to the factory weight. Okay, good. Good to know. Okay, if I didn't show this before, this end uh, fits in a 14 millimeter. So, nice. We'll try this DeWalt little impact driver here. 